and Michael Penix, who is here, will have a part in the Super Bowl somehow, and Starry has something to do with it. This is a fresh one, though. By the way, I thought, now, sometimes they bring the stuff up here warm, and it's room huh? temperature. Yeah. This is a real deal. Yeah. Somebody was thoughtful with this uh-huh. and, and kept this refrigerated because they, they must know that when we're done talking, I'm going to down this thing right. <laughs> in one take. But Starry is a big part of your story today. Tell me about uh, Starry and the Super Bowl. Pretty yeah, exciting so, um, news. Yeah, so Starry is a lemon-lime soda. You know, uh, it has a crisp, clear, and refreshing taste. And um, it, it, it hits different. It's something that I always try to get anytime I see it anywhere, you know, at the store. You know, it, it's, it's perfect with any type of food. So it's an amazing drink. And it's making their first Super Bowl appearance this Sunday with Ice Spice. And um, I feel like everybody should tune in to see why it's time to see other sodas. Are you going to get a chance to meet Ice Spice? I don't know. I don't I, think so. I think that should be part of the deal. Come on. I don't know. I don't think so. You, you don't think so? Uh, this this game on Sunday, uh, we, we always talk about it. This is what fans do. Uh, probably football players look at the game more globally, more thoughtfully, but fans look at it quarterbacks. Hey, you got Patrick Mahomes, great quarterback. Then you got Brock Purdy, a quarterback who has to prove himself. Right. And so when you look at this, you're one of these guys. You're a, a quarterback prospect who is looking to get into the league. What do you think about the discussion of quarterbacks among fans? And, and what do you, how do you think your style of quarterbacking will fit into the league? Yeah, um, so as far as my style, you know, I feel like I could fit in uh, any, any, any program, any offense, you know, in the NFL. You know, I feel like my skill sets, you know, I feel like I have an amazing skill set. You know, I feel like I can make any throw on the field, and I feel like my decision making is, is amazing too. So, um, but quarterback, you know, obviously it, it's it's a tough position. You know, in different ways. You know, and the biggest way is whenever things are going good, you're gonna get all the praise. But when, it, when it's not going good, you, you're gonna get all the blame. You know, but uh, I feel like that's something people probably notice. You know, but uh, probably put put uh, behind. But uh, at the same time, you know, um, it, it's amazing. You know, I've been playing it since I was 10 years old, and uh, I've been I've been doing a pretty good job at it. You know, but obviously, you know, I want to continue to keep improving each and every each and every opportunity I get, and that's that's what I've been doing uh, these past few weeks, getting ready for the combine and stuff like that. But uh, as far as the two that's playing this week, you know, like you said, Pat Mahomes is he's like he's a sure Hall of Famer. You know, he's no a question. guy that it's hard to bet against Mahomes. You know, but um, Brock Purdy, yeah, he, he's gonna have to prove himself. You know, but he he's been proving it each and every week. You know, to to even get to this point to be in this big big time game at, at the biggest stage you know you know it, it obviously speaks volumes you know he has he has a lot of guys around him making plays as well but you know he, he got to get them the ball and he's been doing a good job at it you know michael you i i always hear you know coaches talk about it commentators talk about it i feel like not enough people ask athletes about the transfer portal and nil now coaches will complain about it. we got to do something about it and <laughs> And commentators, it's not the same, especially pro sports. But the transfer portal it was a big reason you were able to go from Indiana right. to Washington, put up two great years, historic years there, and put yourself in position to be a uh, likely first-round pick in the NFL draft. How do you feel about it? How do you feel about the whole operation? Yeah, man, obviously the transfer portal, I feel like it, it's, for, it's for you, you know, based on, you know, what you feel like is best for you, yourself and your future. And, and for me, I feel like as far as, you know, uh, my future and how I wanted to elevate and uh, become a better person, better player, you know, it was something that, you know, helped me a lot, you know, obviously as you can see, you know. But, um, man, it's, it's to each his own, you know. Um, I feel like as far as whenever you transfer, and I don't feel like you should look at the NIL side of it, you know, I feel like you should truly look at, you know, what's going to help you uh, develop and become a better uh, player, you know, because at the end of the day, uh, if you make it to the NFL, you know, you're going to see money that NIL isn't going to show you, you know. So, um, now I feel like as long as you're focusing on uh, where, where, you, where you need to be to help you become a better player, to get you to to the millions and the stuff that you want to see, you know, uh, in the NFL, you know, um, as long as you got that mindset, that right mindset, uh, and attacking each and every day, you know, you'll be fine. Now, Michael, sometimes the scouts are right, sometimes the scouts are wrong. Uh, right. and, and I know I live in Boston, so I know about scouts being wrong. Tom Brady picked 199. I've heard that story many times. So they got scouts got it wrong there. But the scouts, according to the scouts, the top three quarterbacks are Caleb Williams, Drake May, and Jaden Daniels. Yeah. What does Scout Michael Penix Jr. tell me about that uh, about that report? Where do you, if you look at those guys, where do you put yourself? Yeah. So first of all, I, I feel like I'm the best quarterback in the draft. You know, um, 
You know, what other people's opinion is, you know, I can't control that. You know, all I can control is what I do on the field and uh, how, how I attack this process. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't focus on the things I can't control. You know, I feel like um, my performance these last uh, two years and even throughout my career, it speaks for itself. You know, I feel like I'm a proven winner. You know, I've been able to win at, you know, everywhere I've been. You know, uh, obviously I couldn't do it by myself, you know, but um, I, I've been I've been in tough situations at times, you know, and uh, we we had we, I had highs, you know, throughout my career, you know, and the lows was my injuries and stuff like that, you know, but um, I, I, I don't know. Best quarterback in the draft. I like that. What, what are your strengths? Yeah, uh, I feel like I can make any throw on the field. You know, first of all, you know, I feel like any throw on the field, it doesn't matter. You know, I can make it. And uh, I feel like my decision making is amazing. You know, um, I feel like we took a lot of shots in my offense. And uh, at, the, at sometimes, you know, it'll be teams that's, that's they're backing up. You know, they don't want to give us those shots. So I have to be disciplined enough to take my check downs and knowing that, you know, we could get a broken tackle and uh, get more yards off of that, you know, instead of putting the ball in danger. You know, I feel like I did that, you know, a lot throughout my career. So. Uh, and who's the quarterback, my final question for you, who's the quarterback that, I say, you're growing up, you watched him, and you said, Man, that, that guy inspires me, or I, I can see some of myself in him. Is there a quarterback like that in the pros where you just said, okay? Not right now. Um, I, I feel like uh, – I'm like a mix of a lot of quarterbacks, you know, but I don't really uh, see myself like as anybody else, you know, uh, other than myself. You know, I try to be myself, you know, I try to uh, put my own little flavor to the game, you know, but uh, growing up, I did watch Mike Vick uh, throughout high school. I watched Teddy Bridgewater at uh, Louisville, and I liked the things that they were doing, you know, um, you know, but uh, as of right now, you know, I I'm just trying to be the best version of me. Man, uh, best of luck to you, Michael. Uh, just great to talk to you. And I can't wait to see what your next uh, what your next step is on this journey. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Good All right, talk thank to you. you. Hey, thank you for watching Brother from Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.